What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are celebrating the start of, I guess you could say, the offseason, right? The Super Bowl was yesterday. Hey, my prediction was kind of close. Not right, but uh, I predicted 38-24 to 24 Chiefs. The final score was 31 to 20 Chiefs, but I think the 49ers had it. I was rooting for the 49ers, by the way, so don't get any kind of thoughts. Now, we're reacting reacting to, I think, five mock drafts here for the Detroit Lions, and I thought this would be a good way to kind of, like, jumpstart into the offseason. You know, mock drafts are always super popular, so I thought, you know, we'd react to, like, five of them. So I pulled up different articles of just Lions mock drafts. Some of them are, like, seven rounds. Some, like, this one, I think, are just two rounds. And I believe they all are in article form, so they're not, like, videos that we have to watch. So, yeah. We'll react to those and also make sure you check out the community because I want you guys to do your own mock draft Well, not really, but I'm gonna have voting polls up which I already have up you guys vote on the position and uh, We'll do a mock draft that way that way. It's like a subscriber mock draft that one will be pretty fun I'm not sure when that's gonna come out. We'll see um, but I still want to keep putting um, Voting polls up there to make sure I get a really good accurate representation of where you guys want to go with those picks So check it out now. Let's get into this one So the first one we have is Lions make two first round trades in latest pro football focus mock draft Now I am interested in pro football focus mock draft because I do look at a lot of pro football focused things and um I think it'd be really interesting to see how they do the Detroit Lions draft because they look at all these numbers and analytics to make things happen. So I think that'd be really interesting here. So let's just hop right into it. I believe this is only two rounds. All right. Is that what it says? Two rounds? Yeah, two rounds. First two rounds. Okay. Uh things begin the most recent mock draft with the Lions and trading their number three pick to Miami so the Dolphins could take two. Okay, so that would mean trading three to five. So that's what they're doing here. I think that's expected. I think a lot of people are expecting that, so I'm not surprised by that move. Um, so while most mock drafts had the Lions receiving the five pick and at least one second round pick from the Dolphins, Renner has the Lions receiving a first round pick um, five and 26. Now that would be awesome because the Dolphins do have three first round picks. They also have, I think it's pick number 18, so it could happen. Now, that does sound good. Yeah, yeah, it does sound good. Um, things continue to go Lions' way as the Giants take an offensive tackle at four, which is possible, even though Nina is rusher. And uh, we get cornerback at five. Now, if we could trade back and also get corner, trust me, 100%. I really like Jeffrey Okuda. He is a baller. I just think there's other needs. But if we could trade back to five and get Okuda, I'm 100% in, especially if we have another first-round pick. So the Lions add a extra first-round pick, and they still get their guy. I'm good with that, Renner. I like it. Okuda was tailor-made to play in a man-heavy defense like Matt Patricia. He only allowed 12 first downs and one touchdown last season. That's really good. All right, let's get into it. So the second twist, the Lions are sitting pretty at number 26. But instead of waiting, they trade up with the Buffalo Bills to acquire the 22nd pick. Okay, for a compensation uh, for the trade-up was not disclosed. Okay, so we're trading up here. Interesting. Okay, so with the 22 pick, we select Jordan Love. Oh, no, 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 not you too. Come on, man. The Lions, uh, the Lions first rounder at number three. Uh, can stand and take some swings for the fences because of it, Renner said. Uh, they come up. I mean, if you are in the Lions need a quarterback replacing Matthew Stafford, the Lions need a capable backup, then you may applaud uh, Love. Uh, for me, it left with questions. If the Lions were in this mindset, why would they not take Tua at three? He's almost universally viewed as significantly better quarterback. Uh, the final question is here, selecting love is the hardest to justify, especially when in this scenario, if the Lions had just stayed at number 26, they could have selected Denzel Mims, um, linebacker Zach Vaughn, Caleb Vaughn, Chasen, uh, Kenneth Murray, right? There's some other, you know, we could have filled out some other needs. But honestly, I'm not too mad because I feel like getting out of Jordan Love, you know, he's more healthy. And also, he's more of a, uh, I guess he's more of a backup. I don't know. I still, I still think that's kind of, I think you can fill out a lot of needs. You have an opportunity with that pick to fill out some good needs. So I don't know how much I love that, but I'm not too mad either because it does give us a uh, reliable backup, which we do need. So that's our first mock draft. Let me know what you guys think. I, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, it's okay. Let's hop into this one. This one is by Justin Rogers of the Detroit News. Interesting. This is his first mock draft. So let's see how it goes. Oh, this is a full NFL mock draft? Okay, you know what? Well, this one's going to be short and sweet. We're just going to see who he gives for Detroit. All right, so first is uh, Joe Burrow, obviously. Second goes Chase Young, and we get Derek Brown. He has us taking a Derek Brown three. Now, I wasn't expecting that. Not a lot of people do this. Ideally, the Lions are able to trade down from this spot, pick up some extra draft equity, um, and still get one of the top defenders on the board. Staying put, the polished and productive interior lineman fills one of Detroit Lions' biggest needs. Um, which only becomes more glaring if Snacks, Harrison retires. Hey, that's how I look at it. But also, at the same time, I'm kind of surprised he went there. I'm kind of interested to see what he does in the rest of the way. So we got Jedrick Wills. And then Tua goes to the Dolphins. Herbert goes six. Okuda falls to seven for Carolina. Makes sense. Cardinals, they get Thomas. Jerry Judy, nine. And the Browns get Isaiah Simmons. Oh, my gosh. Could you imagine? That's a, that's a steal. Shout out to the Browns if that works out. Good for you. 
All right, this is hashtag one pride 2020 Lions fan mock draft. So I guess this is a mock draft by you guys somehow. I don't know. This is the third one, though, too. Using Fanspeak's on the clock mock draft simulator, we at. See, I feel like Fanspeak's a little bit wacky. I ain't gonna lie. Like, yes, you could trade back, but it's kind of weird. I. It don't seem super realistic sometimes, but that's okay. Let's see what they got us taken. Okay, Jeffrey Okuda. I'm not surprised. Are Lions fans picking up. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Lions fans picking up Okuda based on Taylor or because they caught up in the common group think? As he continues to be overwhelming choice in mock draft right now. He's talented as heck. I just don't know if corners are our biggest need. I always come back to the Darius Slay thing, but honestly, assuming Slay's back, I don't know if that's where we have to go. Now, the first one, I'm good with that because now you're getting Okuda at five and you're turning back. Now, at 26, I wouldn't have taken that. I would have filled out a need. I'm going defensive line, most likely. So, uh, especially for training off, I'm probably going to trade for Kinlaw if you can. Um, I have held steady here with Okuda. Okay, I'm all right with that. Then we have Josh Uche. Okay, you know, that's okay. I mean, maybe a little early, but Josh Uche does give us an edge rusher. Interesting. So we got corner and edge. I'm not mad. Okay, we got another edge here in Bradley Annie. Okay, okay. I've heard of him a little bit. Don't know exactly how to say his name. He was at the Senior Bowl, so that definitely helps out because, you know, Matt Patricia can be interested in those guys. Antoine Winfield, which I think is a good pick out of the safety out of Minnesota. I think he would be a really nice pick. But again, we're not filling defensive line or O-line here. I don't know if I love this one. Okay, Quarantine Davis, not bad. The wide receiver. Matt per offensive tackle. Okay, we get a tackle, and then we get a no tackle. See, see, some people think, you know, you just, oh, you fill the needs, six tackle. Yeah, it doesn't matter where Ronnie is. He's still filling needs. But you really have to think. He's probably not going to have an impact, most likely. Let's see. Daniels fits the bill as nose tackle, but he, is he an upgrade over John Atkins? See, that's the thing. If you're not an upgrade over John, if that's even a question, I feel like you made the, you know what I mean? You waited too long. You waited too long if that's a question. Oh, okay, okay. Um, This is another situation where I think fans, though, whole roster and grab a player position they failed to address earlier in the draft. For my money, I would have selected a third-place finisher in the poll. Okay. Okay, um, I think you waited too long on trenches. You only got a tackle. You didn't get a guard. But again, these are hard, so you have to keep in mind, keep in mind, I, I'm keeping in mind, that the free agency is going to have a huge impact. You know, free agency, we go get a defensive tackle and a guard. I'm like, oh, that's a beautiful draft. Because think about it. If we grab the defensive tackle, then we grab maybe an offensive tackle or offensive guard or something, just a solid starter. Then I'm looking at saying, okay, I got a Cootie gun at two edge rushers. You're getting you're getting a safety, which could help out with some depth. You're getting another weapon for Stafford. You're getting an offensive tackle for depth. And you're getting a nose tackle for depth. Like, oh, yeah, I'm good with that. But, you know, it, it's going to, I mean, free agency is going to decide everything. But you got to keep in mind, these are for fun. So don't take them too seriously. Okay. Next up, Detroit Lions trade down the latest three-round mock draft. Now, this is by Lion Maven. Uh, they actually broke some news earlier this year by, oh, Logan. Logan, I don't know how to say your last day, but I, I see you, my boy. I see you on Insta and Twitter. Follow me on both if you want to. All right, next up. So first round, he goes Jeffrey Okuda, pick number five. Okay, I'm really liking this idea. In this mock draft simulator, the Dolphins offer their fifth overall pick with their third selection. Third round selection. Ooh, a third round selection. Hope for more return, but any trade is better than no one moving back two spots. I'm 100% in with taking Okuda if we trade back to five. But a third round selection, I'm at least looking for a second, man. At least looking for a second. Okay, even at the fifth spot, my uh, personal favorites... We're still on the board, Okuda, Derek Brown, and Simmons. Honestly, if you could trade back and get any of those guys, I'm in. You know I like all those dudes. Um, much money life has, I've, I chose Okuda. Okay, okay, so second round, he goes, okay, if Chasen, how do you even say this thing? Because someone help me out, I think it's Chasen. If we get Caleb on here in the second round, that's a nice pick. He could be a first, yeah, I think he could be a first round talent. I really do think he could be a first round pick. Let me get a wide receiver. Ah. Uh. A nose tack. We get leaky here. Okay, I mean, that's not bad. He didn't wait too. Okay, this is the one we traded for. Okay. I'm not mad at this one. It's different. It's definitely different. Um, getting a wide receiver kind of early, but I do like the thought of it. Okay. Interesting. That's different. I'm not even mad about this one. I'm good with it. I would like to get a second round pick and return at least, but hey, I'm not mad. All right. Now, this is the final one we have. Oh, what is this one? Detroit Lions in position come away with massive winners in 2020 NFL draft. Okay. Let's see how much of winners we are. Oh, what? Trades dominate for... Rub your hand. Okay, rub your hands together and give an evil laugh. Ha ha! Okay, that was the most. Uh, let me try another one. Ha! Hey, that's not a laugh. What was that? Come on, dog. That's my. Okay, let's move on. But the, okay, stop. The only question is, is it savvy enough to pull off this heist? Okay, I'm, I'm excited. Calm down. Let's go. Let's go. Is this really a heist? Okay, what happened?
Joe Burrow, Chase Young. Hold up. Are we really going to have to do this the whole time? Okay. Miami Dolphins trade pick 5, 6, and 50. Uh, yeah. I mean, the other guy gave us a third round pick. If we get all of that in return, I'm about to cry. I'd probably... Thank goodness. Because that is beautiful. Could you imagine getting all that in return? Holy cow. The 5th, the 26th, and the 56th? Like, what the... That's beautiful. Justin Herbert goes for it. That's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That means Isaiah Simmons, Derek Brown, and Okuda are available. I'm assuming he's taking Okuda, but I'm good with all of them. I take Simmons. I take Simmons. Let's see. Jeffrey Okuda. Okay. Detroit fired by, via Miami Dolphins. I'm not mad. Back can go six. I mean, okay. I mean, it, crazy land here. This is definitely crazy land. I don't know who made this. Okay, Felix. This is kind of wacky, but I'm not mad at you. Jeffrey Okuda at five. Okay. You know, I ain't mad. If this comes true, trust me. I'm in. I'm Jordan Love goes seven. Okay, this is really weird. Indianapolis Colts trade 13, 44, and 112 for Panther 7th. I mean, if you need a quarterback, I mean, yeah. This is different, but hey, that's how that's how the draft. Oh, Isaiah Simmons goes to the Jaguars. Freaking at you. Andrew Thomas to the Browns. Good for the Browns. Terry Brown fell in the top 10 to 11. Yeah, I'd definitely trade it for that man, too. That's a good pick. Jerry Judy goes to the Raiders. They need a wide receiver, so good for y'all. Ken Law goes 13. I could see that actually happening. I could see him going that early. I'm trying to get to our pick. Tristan Wurz, he fell a little bit. Chase, see, see, Chase in here goes 16. I can see that happening. Grand Delp, but I think a lot of people are expecting that to happen. Um, we're at 26. Epinesa, okay. Fulton. Andre Swift is the first running back. I, you can see it. Henry Ruggs. Josh Jones in the first round. Okay, Kenneth Murray. Who do we got? T. Higgins. Ooh, okay, look. So we got Okuda and Higgins. Okay, interesting as heck. The earlier trade for Tua um, comes back around. I mean, we're getting a beast in T. Higgins. So, honestly, I can't even be mad because T. Higgins is that dude. But hold up. What about the rest of our picks? Oh, round two. Okay, I'm sorry. I David Arnett goes first round. Okay, I really jumped ahead of the ship there. All right, who do, who do we, we got a uh, 35? Patrick Queen. Oh, snap. Okay, I'm not mad, but we no trenches. And let, but again, free agency. He could be assuming we do this in free agency. So, I can't. Don't get too mad. Calm down. I think we have 56, too. Acquired. We get an edge. I can't. Jabari. Who? Zun, Zunaga. Okay. So that's who we got. I mean, all right. All right. I mean, I ain't mad. I mean, that's if we get that trade, though, I'm losing my marbles. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what your favorite mock draft was. I feel like this was definitely my favorite, but maybe not as realistic as some of the other ones. These were interesting. And also, make sure you go to the community and vote on those comments below. Also, let me know what videos you guys want to see. Thank you for watching. Happy offseason. It's actually kind of sad. And I'm out.